Australian ace Matt Campbell drives the number five Porsche Hypercar in the World Endurance Championship after spending the first year of the 963 era racing in North America. I spent the last few years in IMSA, so really enjoyed that style of racing, but I did work for five seasons. Um, so no championship well, so it was easy to transition back from the IMSA championship and slot in and join the number five crew. Coming back to WEC, being able to compete at Le Mans this year for the first time in an overall contention car was exciting and obviously enjoying the experience so far. Despite the switch to the WEC, Campbell did get to race in the IMSA season opener at Daytona where he helped make history for Porsche Penske Motorsport. Phenomenal to get the first ever really big victory of the 963, first race of the year, one of the biggest races of the US calendar, and being able to win the 24 hour Daytona is uh, phenomenal. Start a year off so strong, it always puts you in a good set, and I think you really saw the, the performances after Daytona as well, always fighting for the victories and pole positions and everything like that. The 29 year old Queenslander built his international reputation in GTs with Dempsey Proton, winning multiple WEC races, including Le Mans and then in IMSA with WeatherTech Racing and FAF Motorsports. But it was his success in Carrera Cup Australia that first caught Porsche's attention a decade ago. It's been an interesting journey to say the least coming from Australia, quite far from the likes of Le Mans and WEC and everything like that. But nevertheless, it's been a phenomenal ride ever since going through the Carrera Cup in Australia. Obviously joining Porsche, going to the shootout, becoming a junior and then moving up through the ranks. And now we're finally at the peak of the Porsche Pyramid with the 963 and it's phenomenal to think I'm in this position now, 10 years after starting my career with Porsche in one make racing. Driving alongside Fred Makovecki and Michael Christensen, the look hasn't always fallen for the number five team this season and it's the sister car that leads the standings. But Campbell is regarded as one of Porsche's most reliable performers. Hard to look at yourself and always say where your maybe strengths and weaknesses are. But I would say a really strong point last year was probably the consistency throughout the season. I was really happy with my performances throughout the year. And obviously now transitioning across to WEC, I think also this has been uh, shown a little bit as well. We've always been really, really fast in our car. We've just never unfortunately got the results we've necessarily wanted. The sister car's up there leading the championship at the moment, so we just need to get a little bit of luck on our side and hopefully then the, the results will start to come. Campbell has already enjoyed some great endurance victories in his Porsche career. Now in the cockpit of the 963, he's hoping to add to that record. To be able to be racing in the works car for the full season in the top tier program, it's a real feeling and something I'd always aimed for, but never quite been in a full season as a works driver in a works car. So now to be finally in this position, racing in such championships as IMSA and the WEC, it's a dream come true and really uh, where I want to end up in my career and hopefully I can be here for, for many years to come now.